right, today we are going to practice graphing lines. This should be review from previous math years, but it's a skill that you need to have kind of nailed down in order to um, be successful with the next thing that's going to happen in Unit 2. So if you would like to get your notes out, that would be great. I know you don't have graph paper in front of you, but um, you can draw quick sketches on your paper. So why don't you label your notes as graphing lines. that I need to remind you about is if you are graphing a line that does not have an X in it, just a Y, you need to remember that that is a horizontal line. So if it just says Y equals 2, for example, it will be a horizontal line at 2. If it only has an X with no Y, then it is a vertical line at that X value. So if you have to graph X equals negative 3, you locate negative 3 on the X axis and you draw a vertical line. But most often when you graph lines, the X's and the Y's are mixed together. And that's when it gets a little bit more complicated, but shouldn't be too bad for you guys at this point. So let's say, for example, that you are supposed to graph the line Y equals 2X plus 1. If you are to graph the line Y equals 2X plus 1, you just need to locate two points on that line and then connect those two points. Any two points you want to. So one thing you could do is go to y equals on your calculator, type in 2x plus 1, make a table, and then locate any two points. I'm going to show you guys the algebra behind it. I'm going to pick a couple of different x values and I'm going to, um, and I'm going to calculate the y value and then I'm going to plot those two points. So if you have y equals 2x plus 1, you might choose to, to plot a point when x is equal to 0. Two times 0 is 0, plus 1 is 1. So when the x value is 0, the y value is 1. So I'm going to plot that point. I'm going to plot the point 0, 1. Now I'm going to pick a different value of x, and I'm going to locate, or I'm going to calculate the y value. So let's try, I'll do an x value of, say, 3. Two times three is six, plus one is seven. So when x is three, my y value is seven. So I plot the point three, seven. That means I go to the right three, I go up seven. Now I've plotted two points. In order to graph a line, you only ever need two points. So at this point, you would get a straight edge out, and you should have a straight edge um, available to you right now. Get your straight edge out and then connect those two points, and that's all you have to do. I don't have a straight edge up here. I am going to freehand it, but I would prefer, not prefer, I need you guys to make sure that you are using a ruler to connect your two points. A pretty basic line but now we're gonna make it a little bit more complicated and we're gonna throw some coefficients in front of your X's and your Y's and you have to solve for Y first 
and then plot some points. So I'm going to clear this screen. And let's say that you have, you have um, the line 3x plus y equals 9. 3x plus y equals 9. In order to graph this, the first thing that you need to do is solve for y. So to get y alone, you're going to need to get rid of the 3x's. So I'm going to subtract 3x from the left. I'm going to subtract 3x from the right. That will leave you with y is equal to 9 minus 3x. Now you are back to a problem just like we had previously. So you need to pick a couple different values of x. You need to plug them in for x in your, in your equation there and calculate the y value. Remember also that you could just go to y equals, type in 9 minus 3x, create a table, and locate any, choose any two points on your table and plot them on your graph and then connect the points. I'm going to do the algebraic way. So y is equal to 9 minus 3 times 0. 3 times 0 is 0. So I'm really taking 9 minus 0, which is 9. So when x was 0, I got a y value of 9. So I plot that point. I go over 0 and I go up 9. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. I get a point right here. And now I need to pick another value. So I'm going to say, I'm going to pick a value of 3 again. So I'm going to do 9 minus 3 times 3. Well, 3 times 3 is 9, so I'm really calculating 9 minus 9, which is 0. So when x is 3, y is 0. So I need to plot that point. So I go to an x value of 3 and a y value of 0. I get a point right here, and then I connect the two points. All right, um, now we got to make it even a little bit harder. Let's say that you have a situation like this. 2x plus 4y is equal to negative 8. Well, we're going to start this the same way. We have to get rid of our 2x's, and I get rid of 2x's by subtracting them. So I subtract 2x, and then I subtract 2x on the right-hand side. That leaves me with 4y is equal to 8 minus 2x, but the y is not alone yet. I'm going to have to get rid of the 4 in front of the y by dividing by 4. So I divide the left side by 4, I divide the right side by 4. Now at this point, if you want to, you can type this into your calculator as is. So y would be equal to, make sure if you're going to type it into your calculator as is, make sure that you separate the numerator with parentheses from the denominator. So you need to do 8 minus 2x in parentheses and then divide that answer by 4. So you plug it into your calculator, you find a, different, um, a couple different values on your table, and then you plot those points. I am going to, I think in this case, rely on my calculator. I'm going to type in 8 minus 2x. I'm going to divide by 4, and when I do that, I get a couple of values. I, I am going to locate a couple values on, on my calculator, on my table, and I get a couple of um, nice values, such as an x value of 0 and a y value of 2, and then also an x value of 4 and a y value of 0. Those are two good points for me to plot. So I'm going to plot 0, 2. When I plot 4, 0, that means I go to the right 4 units and up 0 units. And then I connect those two points. I'm going to try one more example with you, and then you guys will have a chance to try this. Let's say that you had a situation where you have a negative number in front of y. So I'm going to clear the page here. And let's say you are given a situation like 3x minus y is equal to, to 6. Well, again, you're going to
going to get rid of your x's by subtracting 3x from the left. You subtract 3x from the right. It leaves you with negative y is equal to 6 minus 3x, but there's a negative in front of the y. That means negative 1 times y. So you divide the left by negative 1. You divide the right by negative 1. That leaves you with a couple of options. You could type it into your calculator as is. Take 6 minus 3x in parentheses and divide by negative 1. Or because the math here is so easy, you could just take that negative 1 and divide it into both the 6 and into the negative 3x, which I think is what I'm going to do. If I take 6 divided by negative 1, I get negative 6. Just make sure you divide that negative 1 into both terms on the top. So you'll get negative 6. And then negative 3x divided by negative 1 is a positive 3x. And then this is what you would type into your calculator, or you could solve algebraically. So I am going to just rely on my calculator, just so I can come up with some answers pretty quickly. I have negative 6 plus 3x. I'm going to make a table. And a couple of points that I find on my table are 0, negative 6, and 2, 0. Notice I keep plotting zeros. If I can get a 0 for either the x or the y, those are always nice points to plot. It makes your graphing a little bit easier, and your graphing a little bit, um, it just will be a little bit more accurate. So 0, negative 6, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, I get a point right here. And then 2, 0 is to the right two units, and then I connect those two points. And that's it. Now you get to try some.